So Prophet Isma, Prophet Ibrahim sees, what does he see? Inni ara fi manami anni al-bahuk. I see myself sacrificing you. There's no symbolism. It's clear cut, right? More common to the Prophet. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. We are Funny and Jesse. Hope everybody's doing fine. Hope everybody's doing amazing. And I hope everybody's just, you know, uh, just, just chilled and relaxed, man. We're ready to, you know, um, listen to me, ready to react with me, and ready to, you know, uh, just get educated or maybe just get to learn one or two things about uh, the reaction that we are doing right now or the reaction that I'm doing right now. Anyway, um, so right about now we're going to do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, I want to thank the people out there who have been subscribing to the channel. You're the realest MVP. Thank you so much. And also the people who have been able to give us reaction videos. You're also amazing. Super, super amazing. And we have our new channel called Fun and Jesse 2.0. We've put the link on the comment section below the first comment. We've pinned it. Just make sure to go and click on that um, link and it will take you all the way to our new channel. Make sure to subscribe, man. We've put in some amazing videos over there. You can give a suggestion on what you want us to do. And we're going to do it for you. And uh, yeah, I mean, hope everybody's fine. Once again, greetings to everybody out there and to the Muslim brothers out there. Salam Alaikum. And now we're going to do another reaction video and this one was suggested by a lot of people and they say that we should go react to these two dreams are from Allah. Let's find out what these dreams are. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. I love you more. Dreams from Allah are one of two types. Dreams from Allah are one of two types. The first of them, which is less common, the first of them, which is less common, is that you see an actual event with you in it without any symbolism. You see something that will happen in the future. You see something that will happen in the future. And there's no symbolism in it. It's a direct, if you like, if you watch, uh, if you like uh, an, an enactment of the future. This is exactly what will happen. Okay, so the Prophet saw a dream that he's doing tawaf around the Kaaba. What year was this? Sixth year of the Hijrah. Sixth year of the Hijrah, right? He saw a dream, he's doing tawaf around the Kaaba. So he, there is no symbolism. When, when he saw the dream, he knew this is not a symbolic dream. So he said, O oh Muslims, I saw a dream, I'm doing tawaf around the Kaaba, let's go do Umrah. What happened that year? They stopped him from coming in. And the Treaty of Pradavia took place. Where the Prophet was prevented from going into Mecca. He saw a dream. There's no symbolism. I saw myself doing tawaf and shaving my hair. This will happen. Allah said in the Quran, This dream that you saw is a true dream. لَقَدْ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ رَسُولَهُ رُؤْيَا بِالْحَقِّ لَتَدْخُلُنَّ الْمَسْجِدَ الْحَرَامِ You're going to enter Masjid al-Haram. It will happen. Not this year, next. It will happen next year. So this is the first type of dream. That you see an actual enactment of what will happen. This is rare. It's rare. But it happens. It's more common to the Prophets. So Prophet, Isma, Prophet Ibrahim sees. What does he see? Inni ara fi manami anni al-bahuk. I see myself sacrificing you. There's no symbolism. It's clear cut. Right? More common to the Prophets. Uh, with regards to such types of dreams, our Prophet narrates, Aisha tells us, that for six months before the revelation of the Qur'an, every single night, the Prophet would see one of these dreams. For six months non-stop, every time our Prophet would go to sleep, he would dream what's going to happen tomorrow. He might be in the souq buying and selling, he dreams it. Next day, the exact same thing happens. He dreams he's going to meet somebody. Next day, that person comes, he meets him. One day, literally, 12 hours gap. He sees the dream, the next morning it happens. For six months non-stop. Why? Allah is telling him something special is going to happen. Allah is telling him something great is going to happen. Preparing him for the revelation of Iqra. For six months this happens and then Iqra is revealed. So this is this type of dream. We said dreams from Allah are two types. Number one, no symbolism. Number two, symbolism. 
And this is the more common type. This is the more common type. Sometimes the prophets have it, yes. And more commonly, even non-prophets have it. And in this type of dream, every object that you see symbolizes, represents something else. So, an ear of corn represents a year of water, according to the story of Yusuf, right? Or a very fat cow and a very thin cow represents a year of drought versus a year of surplus, right? Or X represents Y. A tree represents this, the Kaaba represents that, okay? Light represents something else. In one hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, I saw men wearing robes of different sizes. Some of their robes were up to their necks, some of them up to their stomachs. And I saw Umar ibn al-Khattab, his robe, his shirt was dragging behind him. They said, how did you interpret it? He said, the religion. People have different sizes of religion. Some's religion is small, some's religion is big. Umar's religion was so strong, it's going all the way back there. So a shirt means religion in this dream. Now, by the way, this doesn't mean that in every single dream, a shirt symbolizes religion. But in this dream, it did. So this type of dream is a symbolic dream. We see it right now in the story of Yusuf, right now. Because he sees seven, he sees 11 stars. And he sees the sun and the moon. This is symbolic, symbolism. Everything that you see, every color, every animal, every image, every plant, every inanimate object that you remember, it represents something. Wow, wow. Amazing video right there. These two dreams are from Allah. Anyway, um, he talked about two dreams, which there's one that has no symbolism and there's another one that has symbol. Um, the one that has no symbolism is mostly for prophets or something like that. Uh, they're the ones who see the future and what's gonna happen and whatnot. And the one that doesn't have symbols and the one with symbolism is actually like for, for non-profits and like just normal people you know um i mean there are levels there so you know yourself what kind of what kind of dream you 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 uh, you, you, you have so uh, out of two of those dreams which one do you fall in uh but for me i feel that i fall in the first dream whereby i I, I, I see what's gonna happen in future you get it I've been having a lot of dreams of late. like there was a time I dreamt that is they're gonna have they're gonna be fire like it doesn't show me the actual places but it show me like just fire you know some fire burning somewhere you get it and then after a few days of or maybe one or two weeks this fire somewhere else you get it recent um, not recently I dreamt that I dreamt that um, houses were burning down and then after like three or four days it happened that in uh, what do you call this in Greece it was burning and also um, the same thing happened in the United States remember when they were having a, a fire all over California and stuff like that I dreamt about that too but it didn't show me the exact place but it just showed me the um, it just showed me things burning and whatnot but in the uh it just showed me things burning but it doesn't show me exactly where the place is so i mean i kind of have those kind of dreams yes i can have those kind of dreams and i've dreamt a lot of things and they come they've happened and um i feel that i should be talking about the dreams probably when i dream on such kind of things but now what kind of people will i be talking to because now even if i say like they're going to be fire somewhere it's not going to help anybody but it's just going to create fear for people you know um at least if my dreams are showing me where the fire is like the actual place that would be much better for me to just like inform people you know what fire is gonna come at this particular time no at, the, at this particular place so people try to avoid that 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 area you get it okay i'll tell you about my dream my latest dream i dreamt that 
um, I was floating in the air. I think that is that's more of a symbolism, yeah. I was floating in the air and the sky was like sucking me up and the world was kinda and the world was kinda, you know, crumbling down or maybe like there was like a tectonic type of force that was making it like go down. It's, it's like some something was crushing it down. When the earth was kind of crushed, I was being pulled up by the sky and I found myself in another dimension, you get it? And then in this dimension, things are, things are peaceful and everything is just calm. There's no noise, no too much happening, you know? I just saw myself there and all of a sudden I just woke up. So I really, thought about it and I now that I have these two dreams I can put it in the category of probably symbolism but again I don't know if this thing is going to happen in future because the way the earth was kind of crushed it was it was looking some type of unrealistic but I feel like uh, the dream I was having was more of a symbolism yeah so maybe it meant something or maybe it didn't mean something but i think there's more to that anyway guys uh yeah just let me know the comment section below do you have dreams and it does happen in future or you don't have or you have dreams that uh just occur to you they're just symbolism and whatnot just let me know the comment section below because we have two dreams over here let me know what kind of dream you normally have and i'll be glad to you know read your comments and i'll be glad to also uh, talk to you guys and sh you know let's just talk in the comment section below just let me know just let me know of your dreams just let me know where you fall in and yeah and thank you thank you so much for being uh, patient until this end of this session anyway guys thank you so much if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down my comment section tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction what you feel about this video of uh these two dreams are from allah just let me know in the comment section below if you have any kind of uh information about dreams or these two dreams that we've been we've been you know uh talking about just let me know in the comment section below and also don't forget to let me know what kind of dream you normally have and yeah feel free to share and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep subscribing then will give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least i'm going to see you in the next video and peace out